To write the electron configuration for sodium, we first have to find the number of electrons around the nucleus of the sodium atom. We can do that by looking on the periodic table and finding the atomic number. That's the number above the element symbol on the periodic table. It represents the number of protons, but it also represents the number of electrons. And once we have those electrons, we can write the electron configuration for sodium. We'll use the table on the right to write the configuration. Sodium has 11 electrons. We'll start by going down the first row. S orbitals can hold up to two electrons, so we'll put a two after the one S. Then we'll go to the second row. As we go down, we have two S, and again, S orbitals can hold two electrons. We'll put two in the two S orbital. In the next row, the first term we encounter is 2p. p orbitals can hold up to six electrons. In this case, we'll put six electrons in the 2p orbital, and that gives us a total of 10 electrons. Sodium only has 11 electrons, so we're almost there. After the 2p, you can see the 3s term in the third row on our chart. So we only need to put one electron in the 3s. If you add those numbers up now, 2 plus 2 plus 6 plus 1, you get 11. So this is the electron configuration for sodium. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.